Yo, what is going on guys? It's Bruin Steel here and this is my post game video for the Steelers and Jets game that happened yesterday. I am recording this the following day. So, this is my post game video, but before I get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Canadian Yorker. Um he came over for the game. He's actually a Jets fan. So, friends have become rivals. Um I want to give a shout out to him for coming over and a couple more friends um, coming over as well, that came over, we ordered pizza, wings, chips, I mean, I bought the chip, but we had soda as well, and we watched the game, we enjoyed the game, you know, friends become rivals, Canadian Yorker is a great friend of mine, I'm going to give a huge shout out to him for watching the game with me, um, unfortunately for me, the Pittsburgh Steelers lose 24-20 to to the New York Jets, and man, it, it just, it's just horrible, man. But getting into this matchup, um, all I can say is it's all on the defense. You know, there's they're Steeler fans that say that, oh, well, it's Mitch Rubisky's fault. Oh, it's Matt Canada's fault. The, no, the, the reason why we lost this game is because, you know, the defense, they, they, they just like stonewall in that second half. And, you know, again, Mitch Rubisky started in this game. And like I said, um, this dude can't make anything happen. The offense is trash. This offense is an absolute nightmare. And it was, uh, Mitch Risky. Just, he's not our quarterback. This is just ridiculous. He shouldn't be starting. And I'm going to talk about what happened, but it, it, it's just unbelievable. Um, he had one stupid interception at the beginning of the game. Um, it was tipped off. I don't remember who intercepted, but it was a horrible, horrible play. It just, it's ridiculous, man. It's the same exact interception. Tipped and then intercepted. Mitch is just not a consistent quarterback for us. He, he, he just, he just not. Um, it, it's just totally, totally ridiculous. Um, Deontay Johnson had, at the one point, you know, Mitch Radrisky had a good drive. He threw a, a pass to Deontay Johnson. It looked like he was in. Uh, Mike Tomlin challenged it. It looked like Deontay Johnson had both legs in, but it did not. We lost the challenge, and it, it cost us a timeout. And, of course, and, of course, the best throw that Mitch, I thought he was going to throw, it ended up being an incomplete pass. And that's just that. And can we get rid of Gunner? Gunner fumbled the fucking ball again. Once again on a fucking punt. This dude is a fucking bomb. Get the fuck out of Pittsburgh, man. This dude fumbled the ball again. Thankfully, we, we covered it. But, man, hold on to the fucking ball. And same goes with Chase Claypool. That's the thing. Chase Claypool had a wide open um catch. Um, And, you know, this is what I've been saying. You know, we, we just... Wide receivers can't catch the fucking ball. It, it, it's just that simple. And what do you know? Oh, my God. Second half. Mike Tomlin actually has some sense in him now. Uh, Mike Trubisky doesn't do really well. He, he, he just didn't do well. It's clear that he's not the quarterback. And then we bring in our first draft pick. The rookie out of Pittsburgh. Um, number eight, Kenny Pickett. Finally, it's Kenny Pickett time. The the era of Kenny Pickett has begun, and he goes in there and gets two rushing touchdowns. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, his first touch, career touchdown pass is an interception because Chase Claypool doesn't have... Chase Claypool has butter fingers, man. Kenny Pickett, you know, look, people are going to say, oh, I'm not going to bash Kenny Pickett because he's just... Learning, you know, that was just a warm-up throw, you know, but still, Chase Claypool didn't, at butter fucking hands, didn't catch it, and it was, it was intercepted. And look, Kenny Pickett had two other interceptions. One of them, obviously, was at the end of the game, uh, a Hail Mary pass that got intercepted. The second one was just unacceptable. You know, that's all on Kenny, but, you know, he's just re progressing, you know, as a quarterback, and, you know, make it, have him make his mistakes. Have him make mistakes and, you know, progress. Learn from his mistakes and progress him as a quarterback. You know? 
You know, it, it's just that. Um, George Pickens, man. Oh, my God. The connection from Pickett to Pickens. That, this, the connection is coming, man. It looks beautiful. George Pickens, first ever 100-yard passing um, game, 100 yards game, first ever. George, look, I'm telling you, George Pickens is absolute beast. Um, George Pickens, first ever over 100 yards. He had six receptions, 102 yards. His first ever over 102 yards, 100 yard game. Um, George Pickens is a stud. Um, you know, that's just that. You know, Minka Van Patrick um, got hurt a little bit. Cameron Hayward went down. It's just that. And then Minka Van Patrick had an interception toward the end. It's Cameron Sutton also had an interception. It was kind of a pass by um, Zach Wilson. But Zach Wilson, by the way, started his first ever career. Um, he had the ankle injury in the preseason, and this is his first start. And he did do two, He did pretty good. Uh, looking at the Jets score, Zach Wilson had two interceptions. Off. He had one touchdown. Um, um, Braxton Barrows had one touchdown. It was a unbelievable. I give Jets credit where it's due. It was kind of a trickery fray. Um, Zach Wilson caught a touchdown from Braxton, um, and then he did a little dance. Um, and it's just to that, and then it just it was it was downhill from that. You know, we lost this game because of defense at the end. Um, the Jets, we were up twenty to ten. Twenty to ten. Like, what are you doing? And it's just the defense, just, um, you know, Kenny Pickett did so much to get this team back in this game, and just, it was a slumping job, man. And the Jets came back, you know, the defense couldn't make a stop, the defense looked tired, and the Jets turned back with only, like, a couple seconds left, 10 seconds left, and they scored the game-winning touchdown. Um, you know, it, it, that's just that. And then there were so many bogus calls on both sides of the balls. Um, look, I'm not going to complain, but it, that, that, that's just that. And um, Chris Boswell broke the record of the longest field goal ever to end the half, 59 yards. Um, props to Chris Boswell. Um, look, the amount, we we were able to look, we were able to pressure Zach Wilson um, earlier, you know, pressuring him, but it just it wasn't enough. At the end of the game, it. it it's just bad, man. Um, look, Mitch Trubisky is not our quarterback. Mike Tomlin put Kenny Pickett, but the question is: next week we got the Buffalo Bills. If the question is: are we going to start Mitch or Kenny? You know, if we start Mitch, I'm going to be pissed the fuck off. And it, it, it's just Mike Tomlin, get that shit through your fucking sick skull. Mitch Trubisky is not our starting quarterback. You see what Kenny Pickett did? Kenny Pickett, 84 yards. Look, people are going to say, no, Kenny Pickett, 120 yards. And he had three, he had three interceptions, but he had two rushing, he had two rushing touchdowns. You know, that, that's just him. You know, and, and look, when Kenny Pickett was out there, the offense was sparking, the offense was moving. You know, Najee Harris, 18 carries, 74 yards. He had some great runs. Um, you know, but it's clear that Kenny Pickett is a much more better quarterback than Mitch Trubisky. And I know what Mike Tomlin's going to say. Oh, this dude threw three interceptions. Mitch Trubisky only had one. I'm still starting Mitch. The three interceptions, it, it's just, it's not on Kenny. It's basically Chase Claypool on the first one did not fucking catch the ball. You know, you got to catch the balls. We had this issue with the receivers. Hang on the to the fucking ball. It's not that hard. Second, it was kind of Kenny um, Pickett's fault. He wanted to be more aggressive, you know, throw down the field. But he's got to learn from that. And the third was just a Hail Mary. What other choice, what other choice does he have? Like, seriously. But Mitch Rubisky, when Mitch Rubisky is out there, he can't do, he can't, he can't lead the offense on anything. It's just a nightmare. When Kenny Pickett went in, he just... Look, two rushing touchdowns for Kenny Pickett. The only touchdown um, that we had in that game. You know, that's just it. And Gunner needs to get the fuck out of here, man. You fumbled the fucking ball twice. Thankfully, the second time, you recover it. Like, why did we even get this guy? Like, holy shit. Like I said, Pat Fireman had seven receptions, 85 guards. Pat Fireman is absolute beast. You know, 
the thing is that when Mitch Ravisky was quarterback, he didn't go for George Pickens. He didn't go for Pat Farman. You got to use Pat Farman and George Pickens more. But and when Kenny Pickett came in the game, he was targeting George Pickens more, and he was targeting Pat Farman more. That's the thing, man. Because of Kenny Pickett, um, you know, targeting Pickens, Pickens have a 102-yard game, six receptions, you know. And Chase Claypool was just... Chase Claypool, I don't know what the fuck he's going. He could he even catch fucking catches. He had zero receptions and zero yard because this dude he had that opportunity to get that amazing catch, but it, it, it's just it's just a fucking bum, man. Um, and like I said, Minkum and Patrick had an interception. He went down. It was a hard ass fucking hit. Um, and then I think it was I don't know who else. I think it was Sutton. Yeah, Sutton had an interception. Cambridge Hayward had went down. He was able ill. He was shaking up a little bit. He was able to walk off the, um, you know, the, the, the field, which was good. Um, but, you know, the, look, the story, look, it wasn't Mike Thomas' fault we lost. It was the, I blame the defense for this loss. And, you know, blowing a 20 to 10 lead, it, it's just embarrassing, man. It really is. You know, and you, and we might be like one and seven before the bye because we go to Buffalo next week, and then I think we come back to Arkansas Stadium to play Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. You all know Tom Brady owns us. And then we play Miami, and then the Eagles. And the Eagles are 4-0 right now. It, it's not looking good. The question is, Mike Tomlin is probably going to start Mitch because he doesn't like to change. He's just going to say Kenny Pickett has three interceptions, Mitch and he won, and he's going to start Mitch. That's what Mike Tomlin's going to say. Watch. Mitch Ravisky is going to start once again because this, this, this Coaching, this coaching job by Tomlin is horrible. Matt Canada can't do any offense whatsoever with Mitch Trubisky. You know, Mike Tomlin should see that Kenny Pickett is the answer. Look, when he's out there, the offense has been, you know, sparking out there ever since Kenny Pickett went out. Kenny Pickett finally started. He tried to get this game back in the but it's just the defense. Um, the defense just... Just fell apart, you, you know. He they let um Kenny pick it down, and that's the reason why we lost. Game when he touched them by the Jets, the defense just couldn't stop. They were tired. That's just that. But anyway, what a horrible way to lose a game. We're one and three, last in the AFC North. Um, you know, the, I've seen worse. At one point, I think it was 2013. We were like 0 and four, two and six, whatever. But anyways, I'm not gonna talk too much about this. Um, we're one and three, last in the AFC North. Um, it's a must win for us next week, and the Bills aren't a. It's not going to be easy, man. The Bills have beaten us. It, it it's just it's just awful, man. But anyway, since you guys for watching this post game video, I am Drew and Still once again. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Canadian Yorker. You guys have seen it in my videos. His video um link will be in the description. His YouTube channel will be in the link of this video. Um, I had a blast with him yesterday. He came over for the Jets and Steelers game. Like I said, Canadian Yorker is a Jets game. He will do be post he will also be doing post game videos on his channel. If you guys haven't seen his post game videos, be sure to do so. Um, I will link his YouTube in the description for you guys. Um, we had a blast. We were watching the game. You know, friends become rivals. Um, but you know, his team came through. Give a huge shout out on his team. Big victory. Um, give a huge shout out to him. Um, you're a great friend. We should do it again sometime. Maybe it win again the Steelers and Jets play. But anyways, I'm Bruin Steer here. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week after the Bills and Steelers game. Um, peace.